That senile white guy who claims to be her boss is finally going down, 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 down. It's a happy day at Kamala Harris's house, but it's not a happy day at Casa Biden. In fact, this is pretty clearly the beginning of the end for Joe Biden. We can't prove that, the future is unknowable, but holy smokes, it does not look good. And it doesn't look good in a very recognizable way. Somewhere in his basement rack room, drinking a Corvoisier on ice, Andrew Cuomo is chuckling to himself. He's seen this movie before. Joe Biden's own aides keep finding stacks of felonies he's left around the place, in his office, in his car. And instead of throwing this evidence in the fireplace, as under normal circumstances they would, they're sending these documents on to the Justice Department. That's not a good sign. Meanwhile, Biden's attorney general, the most unscrupulous, unethical attorney general this country has ever had, has somehow decided that actually, in order to maintain his unsullied record of nonpartisanship, he's gonna have to pass these stacks of felonies onto an independent counsel because that always works out well for a sitting president. And by the way, in this case, the independent counsel is a Republican. Good luck, Joe Biden.